What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Counter Visuals or Reese and today I am here with another Adobe tutorial. This tutorial is going to be in Premiere Pro and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a Luma Fade transition. So this is a really effective transition. It's really going to make your cinematic edits look sweet. So really quick, I need to put my clips in slow-mo. I'll teach you guys how to do all of this in another video. So yeah, I'm going to teach you guys how to make cinematic edits in another video, so I'll go into all of that. So yeah, I have my two clips here, and they're all cut down the way I want them, and they're in slow-mo. So now I'm just going to drag the first clip on here. I'm going to go ahead and mute this so that you guys don't have to listen to this audio. As you can see, this is my first clip. I actually might change this around. Alright, we're just going to cut this from right here. This is just me and my buddy Colton when we went downtown. So there's one clip, and the other one is from when we were in Myrtle Beach, and uh, it's this. I'm actually going to go ahead and stabilize these really quick. Like I said, I'm going to teach you guys how to do all of this in another video. Alright, so now it's more stable. Both of them are. Okay, so now that you have both of your clips on your sequence, you're going to want to get them in the order you want. So I'm going to want, I want this one after this one because I'm going to, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to have I'm going to get rid of all of the space inside of the airplane window and you'll be able to see this through it. So in order to do that we need our second clip, this one over here, to be under this one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag this up and I'll go ahead and drag the audio down as well. And then I'm going to pull this one under this a little bit so you can see this clip is under our first clip. So to do the actual effect we're going to need the effect. So you're going to come to your effects panel. If you guys don't see the panel, you click on this arrow right here and uh, click on effects to make sure that's checked on. And the effect that we would need is called gradient wipe. So you don't want this one down here, you want the this one that is in transitions. So you're going to go ahead and drag this onto the first clip. So now you scroll down on your effects controls, make sure you're on effects controls up here and you're going to scroll down and as you can see right here this is the gradient wipe effect so you're gonna need to know how to use keyframes for this I'm gonna give you guys a little rundown on it but uh, you just kinda need to know how to use keyframes but so you're gonna set the first keyframe where you want the effect to start so drag it to where the second clip comes in as you can see right there you're gonna wanna it can be overlapped a little but you're gonna wanna start the first keyframe there you're going to want to set a keyframe on transition completion. So as you can see the transition is 0% complete right here. So the completion of the effect is how like it just how much it's completed as you can see. So when I drag it all the way up, the effect is complete and when I drag it all the way back to 0, it is 0% complete. You want to set a keyframe at 0% completion right where the second clip starts. So we're gonna set a keyframe there and then we're gonna drag it to where the first clip ends and we'll put it to a hundred. So as you can see this is just a basic transition like this. Okay so now say I want it to I want this clip I want the second clip to show just through the window a little. We're going to need to do a couple things. So as you can see the effect gets rid of the blacks first, the darker colors first, and then it transitions to the lighter colors and gets rid of those. If you want it to go the other way, you go down here to invert gradient and click that. And now as you can see it's going to get rid of the stuff inside of the window first, and then the dark colors. So say I want it to to look like this for a little bit longer. See how it's showing through the window? You can even get rid of that a little more. Say I want it to show like this a little bit longer, you're going to need to do a few different things. So you want to first, you can keep these keyframes where it's at 0% completed and 100% completed. You can keep those. 
but what we're gonna wanna do is we wanna add a few more keyframes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and set a new keyframe right here. I want it to be all I want everything in the window to be gone when it's right here. So we're gonna bring that up a little just until all the stuff in the window is gone. As you can see, there's a little more stuff in there. Um, if you take more time on this, you can really get rid of it all. But we're, we're just being really quick here. So we have that keyframe there. We want to scroll down a little and set another keyframe at 80, right where all the stuff is gone. So now, as you see, if you go through the transition, it's going to look like you're just looking through that window at my buddy Colton right there just for a little longer and then it's all going to go away. So here's the transition. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I told you guys it's a really simple transition. It looks really good in cinematic edits. If this did help you guys, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Subscribe with notifications on for more and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna go